The Volkswagen Passat has always bridged the gap between mainstream family cars such as the Ford Mondeo and more premium models such as the Mercedes C-Class. And this new one, well, it, it blurs the lines even more. That's because Volkswagen has given its new Passat a more upmarket feel, which creates a notable gap in quality between it and its more traditional rivals and threatens that of more expensive models. Well, this is a very nice car to sit in. You've got these ergonomic seats. They fit your body perfectly. They're, they're super comfortable. The driving position, as ever in a Volkswagen, is spot on. You've got lovely weighted controls there. And check out the material quality. I mean, that's just so soft up here and down there. It's super squidgy. It's, it's almost as yielding as a temper mattress. There's lots of tech too. All cars get a color touchscreen with digital radio and Bluetooth. SE adds front and rear parking sensors and auto headlamps plus windscreen wipers while this business edition gets satellite navigation. In terms of cubby spaces you've got a decent sized glove box and look it's cooled by the air conditioning and also notice that it's lined with felt as is this cubby down here so too is this central cubby and the huge side door bins that means that if you put something in there when you're driving around it won't rattle about. Also here in the cup holders, you've got a rubber lining. So if you drop a coin in there or you have coins in this other little cubby area here, or even in this secret cubby, you don't get a rattly noise. And it's those little details, you know, that Volkswagen's engineers have thought about to make your life just a little bit easier. Practicality continues here in the back. You've got huge wide openings for the doors, which is great for granny trying to clamber in the rear here or when trying to fit a child seat. And once you're in position, well, there's absolutely loads of knee room, as you can see. Now in the Ford Monday, it's sloping roof line means that if I sit up straight, my head does touch the roof, but here in the Passat, yeah, I've got probably about that much space. And for reference, I'm 179 centimeters tall. As for the middle seat, because you do sit up slightly higher, now, if I'm sitting straight, yeah, my head is just touching the roof, but if I slouch, I can just about get away with it. And you'll notice there is this big hump, but because it's very thin, there is enough room for everyone's feet here in the footwells, because they are nice and large. If there's no one sat in the middle seat, you can use the armrest. There's a couple of cup holders there, even a small one for your can of Red Bull energy drink. And if you want to go skiing, you do have a ski hatch as standard on all models, which is useful. Now then, the boot. Obviously, being a saloon, it's not as good for carrying bulky items as a hatchback is, but then that's what you want to do. Just get the Passat Estate. Because as saloons go, this is hugely practical. Got a very wide opening there, which is great. The actual volume is massive. It's about as good as it gets, really. And if you look at the shape, it's nice and square, which aids practicality further. There's various tethering hooks in here. You need to tie things down, get a little hook there to carry your shopping off. Maybe some bags of wine so they don't roll about and separate compartments here. If you look, you can fold down the rear seats by pulling these levers if you need to carry longer items. And if you just check under here, you will see that the Passat gets a space saver spare wheel, which is much more useful than that tire sealant and compressor stuff you get on quite a lot of cars these days. The Passat comes with a host of safety equipment. Of course, you get electronic stability program, which prevents the car skidding out of control. You can get it with an electronic differential, which improves cornering grip, and all but the entry-level model gets adaptive cruise control with emergency city braking. And if all else fails, there's nine airbags in here. The Passat Saloon is only available with diesel engines. The pick of the range is the two-liter TDI with 150 horsepower. Volkswagen says it will average 68.9 miles per gallon. However, let's see what this car's been averaging since we've been driving it. Well, according to the trick computer, just over 44 miles per gallon. So not quite what Volkswagen says, but it's, it's about right for what you expect from this kind of car. So it's not too bad, really. And in terms of the actual driving experience, 
well, I have to say this Passat is so very comfortable. Whether you're cruising down the motorway or driving around town over potholes, the suspension is just wonderful. And it's even better if you go for the optional adaptive dampers. Then the car has what the Germans call the waftiness. It just, well, it just wafts along. And it's quiet too, you know, even at speed, hardly any tar roar or wind noise, although you do get a bit more tar roar if you go for the larger alloy wheels, but it's not troublesome at all. And then there's the handling. Well, it might be a big car, but this Passat is surprisingly agile. The steering is super sharp. It's really quick actually to react. And it just goes around corners completely. It's unflappable actually. You can't bother at this car at all. It's really surprising. It's very, very capable. For most people, the Passat will do all that they need it to. But for those who want to be more connected to the road, the more fun feeling Mazda 6 may be a better bet. And for those after something a little bit more flamboyant looking, the Ford Mondeo is well worth a look, especially as it's cheaper to buy. But while the Passat may cost more, it does actually feel like a more expensive car. You can check out the prices on our website by clicking the link above my head. But you should still check out our reviews of the Ford Mondeo by clicking here and the Mazda 6 by clicking here. If you click up there, you can watch our very latest video review. And if you click up there on our logo, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you watch on mobile, don't worry, you can still do the same things by following the links below the video.